Payne Fall. It's January and uh, we won't be gardening today. We will, however, be baking. So I'm gonna run a few yeast experiments um, and it's Sunday baking day, so. It's Bread Sunday. <laughs> so this week in the mail, I got this and it's free samples of baker's yeast. Um, and we all know how I feel about breaker, baker's yeast. I buy the SAF for, in the one pound package for, I think I pay $7 for a whole one pound package. But what lured me in was they're now making um, instant sourdough yeast, which I found really interesting. So I thought I'd give it a try. I'll taste test it, see what we think. Um, I'll report back. I'm not gonna bore you with my entire bread baking plan for the day. I did, however, get online and do a little bit of research. This one little packet of yeast is almost $4 at my local grocery store. So it better make really good sourdough bread. Um, upon doing a little more research, this will not work in my refrigerator dough. So you know how I store my big three pound, three one pound loaves in the refrigerator? This yeast does not work so well with refrigerated doughs. It wants to work right away. So I went to King Arthur's uh, and I will post the link in case you're as crazy as I am and wanna go down the January uh, hole of Baker's yeast. I'm sticking with what I have. King Arthur did a whole series of tests and found out the SAF red bag, which is the cheapest yeast you can buy that I keep in the freezer for up to years, is the best bread, baker's yeast if you want to store your uh, bread dough in the refrigerator. It seems to be the slowest activated and it seems to work the best for refrigerator breads. So I'm going to get to bacon here. I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I am going to make the sourdough and I'm also going to try their Platinum Superior Baking Yeast, which I got online. It has dough enhancers, which makes me very suspicious. Um, I just want plain old yeast, but this was free. And I also checked this out and you can get a three pack of these, which would be three loaves of bread for $4.87. And I am sorry, but if I'm gonna pay $5 for three loaves of bread, a loaf of bread costs me $5 at the grocery store. A good loaf of bread costs me $5. My whole one pound pack is only $7 and I'm using a tablespoon. So I think that if you're gonna do this and you're doing this for, for I don't know, to save money or just to have superior bread at home, Go the cheap route. Go to Gordon Food Service or wherever you can buy one pound back. You can even buy it through Amazon now. It keeps forever. SAF Red Bag is the brand that I really like. I'll put a link below. And um, I'm going to get to baking. It's cold January. It looks like I live in a snow globe today, which is why I am not out pruning today. <laughs> so I'm going to have a fun Sunday. Fun in the kitchen. Well, everything's out of the oven. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Um, it does not taste like sourdough. I got an okay rise. Um, I did some smaller buns rolls for like sliders or just even a dinner roll. I did use a lot of whole wheat flour. Um, so I don't know if that makes a difference. I also used rye, a little bit of rye flour. Um, this is the loaf that I got. The rice is okay. But I used steam in my oven. I put a couple ice cubes in. So there's the crumb. It doesn't smell like sourdough. It just smells like the bread I used to make 25 years ago. So save your money. Get a one pound bag of cheap yeast, <laughs> which sounds awful, but it works. And go to the refrigerator method. Um, the dough that's in the refrigerator right now. And this is the super slow, uh, the one that they rated not so great. It smells more sourdough than the sourdough yeast that costs as much as a loaf of bread. 
Oh, this smells delicious. So, um, yeah, I am happy I got to use it. I was very curious about it, but I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> so, so back to the old basics and back to what I've been doing the, um, for the last year. And <clears throat> I went to the store yesterday, I bought bread, uh, King Arthur bread flour, and it was $4.99 for a five pound bag. I didn't have a coupon or anything. And with my cheap yeast and all my other flours, right now, a loaf of bread that like, I usually make, that costs me under 70 cents a loaf. So I'm sticking with my old tried and true method. And that's bread. that was today's experiment in the kitchen. Um, and it's still snowing here. 